Hello everyone, it's Roxy and welcome down the Bitcoin Riddle. We are finishing the Trezor tutorial, so part three, where we're gonna see how to use it, how to send money and how to receive money. For this example, I'm gonna be withdrawing some money from Bitstamp. Bitstamp is an exchange where I bought some Bitcoin. I'm gonna withdraw them into my Trezor. Here we go. Warning, falling down the Bitcoin rabbit hole brings freedom. All right, so your device is fully backed up. So you have that, you have the private key stored, it's with you, everything is fine. So we're just gonna plug it again. You need to go to tracer.io. We're gonna put the pin down and that's it. That's our interface, right? We're gonna straight up update the device. To do the update, you simply need to follow the instruction. It's pretty straightforward. We're gonna unplug the device and plug it back holding both key. So those two keys. We make sure we have the seed with us. That's why we do it when we don't have any money. We can just press on the wallet that we are okay with the update. It is now installing. Uh, the update just finished. They say we can unplug the device. So we're just gonna follow the instruction. And that's it. We have the device fully updated. Uh, we have the interface working and we have the private key backed up. We can now use that device. What we're gonna do right now is receive some Bitcoin because obviously we cannot send if we don't have any. So we're just gonna press receive and we're gonna sh say show full address. This is basically gonna give you your Bitcoin address. It's what you're gonna use to receive the money. So if you need to get paid, that's what you're gonna send your boss or the people that's gonna have to pay you. If you need to withdraw your money from an exchange, that's what you're gonna use. Straight up the bat, it's on the screen of your device. So you can double check. You have it on your computer and on the device. You're gonna be verifying. And when you make sure that every single numbers are the same, the address is the same, you can press continue. At that point, on the screen of your computer, you're gonna have the QR code and the full direct address. You can share the QR code with friends, it's safe, no one can steal your money from that. That's really like the bank account, the EBAN, the REB, you're gonna send people, right? Uh, the easiest way to do it is copy paste it or, uh, or do a screenshot. Just be aware that with Bitcoin, when you make a transaction, you cannot go back. I've told you many times that before, eh? So make sure you write that address correctly and you don't uh, send the wrong one or they don't send it to the wrong one because if you do that the money is gone. What I'm gonna do right now is use that address and to withdraw my fund from Bitstamp. All right so we have the money the last thing to do is to withdraw them so we're just gonna press withdraw at the top. We square up go to cryptocurrency that's it, we are in the withdraw interface. What we must do now is so select a Bitcoin address to receive those Bitcoin. If you want to put a name, go ahead and we're gonna withdraw, withdraw everything. You need to realize that the fee here are denominated in Bitcoin. So 0.0005 Bitcoin to withdraw the money is insane. It is a lot of money. That's why you need to withdraw the money now and not at the end of the bull run. You need to think of that before. Withdraw your money from those exchange before it starts having a lot of value. All right, in order to withdraw the money from Bitstamp, which is what we're gonna use, and in order so to acquire some Bitcoin, we're gonna copy paste that address, go to Bitstamp, and put it up as a bit destination Bitcoin address. That's where the Bitcoin from Bitstamp are gonna be sent to. So we bought them with the bank, and now we're gonna withdraw them into the wallet that we've created. Before accepting the withdraw, we're gonna make sure that we have the right address one last time. All right, we're sure we can just press continue. They are now asking for a two-factor authentication to withdraw the money and that's perfect. That's what when we created the Bitstamp account, we've created that two-factor. It's that if someone have access to your account, he cannot withdraw all the money at once. He needs that double confirmation. We're just gonna pick up the phone and get the code. 2FA work, they are now asking to confirm in the email and then that said the money is sent. So I'm just gonna do that. And that's it. So now Bitstamp is basically uh, doing the whole process. So they are taking those Bitcoin from their wallet and sending it to your wallet. So obviously that's gonna take some time. You know how the Bitcoin blockchain works. The timestamp does take some time. So it's gonna be here in like five, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour. So you do, don't panic, the money is gonna come. We just finished the withdraw and on our, our trader interface, we don't have any money. Do we panic? No, we don't. We know it's normal. It's because it's gonna take some time for the exchange to send the money and the money to be confirmed in your wallet. So it's not yet here, it's in the process, but do not panic, the money should be here if you are doing the thing correctly, which means you use the right address. If you truly are scared, you can first send a small payment and then the bigger payment. So let's say you bought like 2K of Bitcoin, then you can just withdraw like 50 bucks, pay the fee and then withdraw all the rest so you are more sure. You can go step by step, it is okay. 
and that's it we received the money so obviously you can see that it's 47 bucks uh, that's because I lost a lot uh, during the process. Obviously buying with credit card is not cheap and then I had to withdraw which is an extra 0 0.005 Bitcoin. No, the money is unconfirmed and that's normal. We need to wait an extra block or two so the money go confirmed. All right, so the money has been received. It is, has been confirmed. We are chill, we have the money on our wallet. So if we don't want to touch the, touch the money anymore, that's it, that's done. You receive the money, you have withdrawn your money from Bitstamp and that is perfect. You can just literally do nothing else. You have your private key, you have your backup, you should be fine by now. Uh, we're gonna see how to send money in case you want to sell it, but if you don't want to sell it, if you just want to hold all your bitcoins, you should be okay. All right, so you just went to send at the top of the section and you're gonna put down the Bitcoin address that should receive the money. In that case, it's another wallet I have, but if uh, you need to like, for example, sell your Bitcoin, you're gonna put the address that you got from Bitstamp, or if you need to pay someone, you're gonna put that person's address. I'm gonna withdraw everything and then I have to set up the fee. So you need to understand that Bitcoin, there is no intermediary, so there's no single banker in the middle that's gonna grab your money. Instead, we have miners. The miner is simply gonna take the transaction and add it to a block. So you're gonna pay him to do that. You're gonna compensate his work with some fee. And you can decide uh, how much fee you're gonna pay. So you can put some really small amount, uh, for example, like three byte to Satoshi, one byte to Satoshi, or a large amount. What's gonna change is the time they're gonna take to take your transaction and add it to a block. So if you put a large amount, they're gonna make it a high priority. And so they're gonna take your transaction immediately and put it into a block. In 10, 20 minutes, the transaction went through and the money is received. If you put a really tiny amount, you are ready to wait a little bit more. You're ready to like wait five hours a day, a week, big max to get that transaction go through. And that is up to you. What's interesting here is that to withdraw my money from Bitstamp to uh, my uh, ledger, uh, Bitstamp uh, took seven bucks. Seven bucks to withdraw my money. It is insane. It's a lot of money. And that's, that's what you understand. Uh, that, that's why you understand the power of Bitcoin. To go from the financial system, which is Bitstamp, an exchange that allows you to buy and sell, which is a bank, to my Bitcoin wallet, it cost me seven bucks to withdraw that money. Uh, once I'm on the wallet, it's gonna cost me literally seven cents, which is 10 times lower uh, to send that money anywhere else, right? So seven bucks to exit the system and then it's just seven cents to go anywhere. Uh, think about it like that. Basically, I can do 100 transactions before I reach up the price that Bitstamp stole from me uh, in order to allow me to withdraw my Bitcoins. Uh, it's really something we need to consider. It is crazy how much the banking system is robbing you from your money. Uh, so I'm just gonna send it straight up uh, and go for it. Uh, they are gonna ask for the pin to confirm. The wallet is signing the transaction and they are now asking to confirm on the device itself. So they show us the address and say, hey, do you really want to send 0.025 Bitcoin to that address? They are now showing us the fee and ask if we want to respond and we say yes. So you can see it's unconfirmed because it has been sent. No, it needs to be added to a block, but the money is gone. It's game over. We are good to go. Um, that's it basically. No, no, you can receive money. You can send money. You've done the job. It's awesome. We're not going to see how to verify sign the transaction. It's going to be for another video. It's more detailed, but you can analyze everything from yourself. You should probably just use that device like two or three times a year nowadays to make some big change and that is perfect that is simple that is what you can all use if you don't have a ledger because a trader because you haven't bought it yet and you wanted to check how it worked before there's a link below to get my affiliation link maybe you will get a discount but more than that you will be helping me contribute to that channel uh, improve the content create more stuff for you for free and that's awesome anyway i'm roxy i hope you enjoyed the video i will see you up pretty soon for another one in the meanwhile, you can simply like, share, comment, and uh, share it around. It's amazing, uh, all the support you gave me. There's a full teachable course down below that you can do to get the basis if you don't know it, but that should be fine for the trader. That should be fine for the tutorial. You get the basics, you have an idea. I will see you up next week. Be sure to stay awesome and keep those private keys secured. Bye-bye. Everybody will have to make a choice. Ignore Bitcoin or adopt it. What's gonna be yours?